company registered to SANDF. But things took a further dark turn when the cop investigating Abadiga's kidnapping, Lieutenant Colonel Franz Matipa of the Hawks, was assassinated in August this year. Despite such evidence, SANDF head General Rudzani Mapwanya denies the existence of a death squad within its ranks. There are no military squads in the defense force that exist to carry out acts of torture and murder for whatever reasons. Arun Singh, Eyewitness News. The state has opposed the release on bail of the alleged mastermind behind the Palapala farm burglary, Emanuela David. The state says David is an untrustworthy character who has on previous occasions illegally crossed the border in and out of South Africa. Tabiso Gobo was in court. Investigating officer Lou Schnell says Emanuela David has given the police three addresses in Cape Town, Rustenburg and Bila Bila, all of which could not be verified. He says an address David gave to the border post when he entered South Africa from Botswana earlier this year turned out to be fake. Schnell says the fact that police cannot verify his address makes him an unsuitable candidate for bail. There is a very strong likelihood that the applicant, if released, will attempt to evade his trial. There is still uncertainty about how he departed from the Republic of South Africa to Namibia in June 2020 when he was arrested in that country. During his testimony, David admitted to once crossing the border illegally to visit his sick grandmother in Namibia. Judgment on David's bid for bail is expected tomorrow. Tabi Sokoba, Eyewitness News, Limpopo. A partly cloudy Friday in store for Gauteng tomorrow. Lerato Hufela, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News on 947. For more, click ewn.co.za. Hashtag MSW. You may begin to feel anxious or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind and execution. This is a normal response. Are you ready? We're our sports worldwide. No smile, but just a sniff, a sniff of interest again for Tottenham Hotspur. Truly, they do mean business. The Magpies have wind beneath their wings. Peter Drury joining us right here on hashtag MSW. Uh, Mara Sports Worldwide, another accolade for him. Legendary football commentator for Sky Sports, as well as NBC Sports in the United States. Winning yet another award. Good afternoon, Mr. Marawa. Sakala here from Centurion. The man you have on the line there, Mr. Marawa, is the Messi of commentary. Thank you so much, Peter. I didn't want to have the last word. We just got that voice note coming in right now, and I thought, hey, let the listener have the last word. You might not believe me, but you'll believe him. Well, that's very kind of him. What a, what a lovely message to receive. I always love coming onto your show. I say again, thank you. And he is right at the top of his game just now. Dr. Koketsu Tsebe. Paul says, Doc is super professional, premium human, and a star. Sport is blessed. That is directed at you. <laughs> Thank you, Mpo. And once again, congratulations on your recent accolade drop. Well hey. done. Hey, <laughs> We're trying to follow in your footsteps, man. <laughs> uh, Robert, greet you and the doctor with a good heart. Uh, I'm glad you are mentioning Lyle Foster. I've been wondering about him. Uh, I would like to know how he is. And is he back at Burnley yet? Ben Rutter, thank you so much indeed. The information that I got the last time was that he was still, uh, you know, seeking professional help. Robert Marawa, live on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW. Thank you, sir. May you travel as magnificently as you lived. There's a certain, I don't even know if I can still call him a journalist, Jermaine Craig. You've lost your brother. Uh, Robert, due, I've due lost to my... COVID, you've, you've, yeah. lost, you, you've lost a lot this year. I feel and I, I yes, I lost my baby brother this year. I, this year has been a terrible, terrible year for so many people. And my heart goes out to every one of them. And our football world, we lost someone special to us. You know, we lost, we're a community of people who love football. Doesn't matter who you are, you love football and you're a community of people who love this game. Yes, Robert, I'm sorry yeah, for, for breaking down. It's, it's not my intention, but yes, no, uh, it, no brings, it brings a lot of memories and it's a very sad day for us in football. Everyone who loves the game has lost someone special today. Don't apologize for your emotions, Jermaine. Don't ever do that. Tribute from hashtag MSW on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM and Sowetan Live.
Yes, we play back time and the hands of time. It almost seems like it was yesterday and a fitting tribute that's been paid today. I'm sure still underway at the FNB Stadium. The memorial service for the late Jermaine Craig, a colleague, an individual. Hardcore in sport. And also then a moment where he was very fragile. The then passing away of Diego Maradona. Coming on air. And obviously relaying and relating his story of just the sadness that had engulfed him personally as well as his family. Uh, but I've got to, you know, thank Kaiser Chiefs, the football club, for allowing uh, the platform uh, for people to step forward. Colleagues within the industry, you know, really showcasing what a giant he was in the space in which he was. And a lot of people indicating just how much of a, a role model he was to them, in as much as a Maradona, for example, was a role model to him. Thank you, sir. May you travel as magnificently as you lived. Jermaine Craig, if there was one person who would speak from the heart about Diego Maradona, it would be you. So many people grew to love this game that we all love because of Diego Armando Maradona. Beautiful footballer, but an even bigger man. He came from a poor background, but he captured the world with his talent. Robert, today is, is a sad day, you know? it's. I think football has lost a little bit of its soul today. I'm in tears as I'm sitting here talking to you. I'm sorry, yeah, Paul for breaking down that's it's not my intention but yes it, 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 brings, it brings a lot of memories and it's a very sad day for us in football everyone who loves the game has lost someone special today you brought us raw memories of Diego Maradona and for that Jermaine I respect you and I thank you for that stay strong Robert, thank you for the call Robert. I appreciate it I appreciate you Jermaine Craig tribute from hashtag MSW on 947 Boomer FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. All right, looking forward to our guest uh, tonight. We're going to be chatting uh, to her, a strong member of a very successful team within the women's game. I'll tell you all about it. I'm sure if you're on social media, uh, you've already got a sense of who the person is. I'm very, very excited. But also, there's been a, a focus on the Blitzbock and their performances. Um, yeah, I think Dian, Dian is, very, is a very versatile player. I think we get more than one position with Dian. He covers uh, hooker, primarily hooker, and then uh, at loose head as well. Very similar to Ryan Oster's in so high work ethic, uh, uh, versatile skills. They, they can tackle, they're on the ball, and they're actually ballers. No, I think the first thing is back to zero. So just in the week, just the work we need to do, just laying out a foundation. But Great Britain are quality side and they, they, they're very direct they play completely different to the teams that we played last week so uh, they, their strengths are also their kickoffs. so we'll make adjustments and make sure that we're ready just for them Yeah and it was extremely hard I think it's it, there's, there's more to it than just making a decision from an analysis point of view it's also a feeling thing, you're feeling if a player is, is, is going to make the right decision, what's he seeing and then, and then we make a feeling based on stats and analysis and, and then the feeling so it was extremely hard for me, really happy to be back with the team but luckily I've got my Mario Skuman and Philip Sneeman, who, who, who did an outstanding job overseas, and um, and we were on the same page. So I was really happy that they were there. And then those those guys did a, they, those two did an excellent job along with the boys. All right, so that's the Springbok Sevens head coach uh, Sandy Lindnobo uh, naming Tian Pretorius as the only new player in a squad uh, for this weekend's HSBC SVNS uh, Cape Town tournament, uh, with the former SA Schools centre replacing the injured Christy Krobla uh, from the squad that won the Dubai tournament last weekend. Now Krobla injured his ankle in Dubai, uh, was ruled out, and with Pretorius now has played in five of the HSBC. As VNS tournaments making a first appearance though down in Cape Town and I was saying that he has faith in Pretorius who adds a bit of speed and as well as versatility to the Blitz Boca squad and good luck to them. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. So welcome one and all. Indeed the last time before Christmas. Our good friend of the show Peter Drury. Ladies and gentlemen he is on the show. We are here to congratulate him once again on doing ever so well. Peter. As usual to another football match tonight. Um, I'm very close to arriving at uh, Aston Villa but. Blessed as always. What sort of Peter Drury rituals do you ever go through? I know it might be a strong word. The, the thing honestly that I like to do when I, when I'm, when I get a quiet moment walk 
walking towards a venue or getting close to a venue is I always give myself two or three minutes to think if I was the supporter of one of these clubs, what's it all about for me tonight? Floated in by Ericsson Rashford! And that was a belter. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Hi, good evening, Mr. Marawa. I understand that today is not the reaction Monday, but I was triggered by the behavior of both coaches, Coach Rulani of Mamilo de Sundowns and Coach Frank of Amazulu. Their behavior was shocking last night. And more to that, Mr. Marawa, Tembazwane was seen trying to convince his own coach to relax. Also, Raman Pahlele was seen also trying to convince his own coach to relax, which was shocking. I think we needed to teach people emotional intelligence. Yes, on the, on the issue of the coach of Amazul, yes, he transformed the club. But I think he needed to work on his own emotional intelligence. He's a good coach. He transformed the club. Thanks, David and Parkwood. David and Parkwood, emotional intelligence. Hey, what do you think about that? Observations around the behavior of the two coaches. Good evening, uh, Mr. Marawa. Uh, another disappointing result, uh, Mr. Marawa, for my team, Amazulu, yesterday at uh, Kings Latin Stadium. But uh, I think the boys showed a great fighting spirit, Mr. Marawa. We all know that uh, we were playing against defending champions, but I think in that game we could have uh, got maybe at least a draw. When you look at uh, the situation of uh, o. Hendrik Ekstien, goal, I think the match officials there should have done better, but uh, I'm not complaining, but it's coming as a norm to us as Amazulu supporters to see uh, such decisions being took against us, but Let's fight and look up to the next games and see if we, we can get positive results because our situation is not uh, good. We need to improve our position. Thank you. Not a good position. Hey, Spongalini, thank you so much indeed for those observations. If you're an Amazulu fan, uh, what is going through your mind right now? Well, what's going through my mind is that I'm hoping... I don't have to wear any lipstick during the course of this interview at any stage. I'm hoping that I am not forced to wear it uh, because, you know, you've got an ambassador of lipstick who has made it fashionable for female football players to look like they're on the runway of some fashion TV. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about, but... Uh, I go back to the late Brazilian icon, Pele. Credited for coining soccer's popular phrase of the beautiful game, right? That's a definition that had nothing to do with looks. Absolutely nothing. But had everything to do with the artistry that extraordinarily gifted players like him brought to the game. And you've got to agree with me that certain of the Banyana Banyana midfield players or just the strikers, they've added a new dimension to the meaning. But there's just one individual. I mean, she's known for her signature red lipstick, which earned her the Lipstick Lady nickname. And she's certainly more than just about lipstick, though. I'm sure you've seen her play. Man, hey. Um, I, I guess until people like Marta, uh, the Brazilian women's national team legendary captain, who is also well known for playing in full makeup as well as red lipstick. We had seen none of that in domestic football. <laughs> but you know what? You got to move away from... From that for now let's chat the talent let's chat about what's delivered on the field an incredible talent a workaholic of note accurate passing exceptional reading of the game and the type of player that you need as a coach in your team ladies and gentlemen she's here in all her finery uh, she's making me look like i need to go shopping right now because <laughs> <laughs> you know, wow. she, she strides in here bodyguards and all and I'm thinking, hey, what is going on? What a pleasure to welcome you to the studio. Good evening. Good evening. Tata uh, Rob. Ay, 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 ay. Rob, <laughs> Rob, Rob. But Tata, let's leave it for those who are now officially on Sasa Grants. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, 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 good everyone. To see you, man. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having me here. Wow, what a pleasure. Finally. I get to meet the real Robert Marawa. Is there a false one? <laughs> I don't think so. 
<laughs> they shouldn't be, but man, I, I don't know. I can't explain into words. Out of this world. Yeah. I can say the same because we've been trying. I'm sure you know. I'm sure your team knows. <laughs> we've been trying for many years to try to get you in studio. <laughs> when you disappeared to America, when you disappeared to Spain, they're like, uh, but we're never going to get her to come into studio. I just... And then you shot right up as you deserve to. Right. What space are you in right now? <sighs> Very good question. The space that I'm in right now is that of recovery, yeah. healing. Um, as a soccer player and as a human being, you know, you, you go through different points in your life where at some point you are forced to reflect Sometimes you're forced to be in the arena as a footballer, yeah. as a professional. Um, I don't think I have to remind people that we just came back from the World Cup and yes. people don't understand how intense that is. Leading up to the World Cup, wanting to make the team, actually making the team. Now the whole country expects you to, to perform miracles with less to none resources, right? Were you doubtful that you'd make it? Sorry, I, I just had to come in here and say... Not knowing whether you'd make the team, I would say, come on, it's, it's not what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say I, I was doubtful, but there's always that thing at the back of your mind of, well, it's possible you may not make it. You know, my name is not ingrained at Banyana Banyana. So at any point in time, you know, I could be taken out. So I'm, I'm humble yeah. to that reality. Yeah. But do you think you were ever in doubt? that you would have a position, you'd have a ticket to the World Cup? I was. How come? Reality. Reality. Of? Of what actually happens on the field. Because people from the outside, let's say fans, uh, people who are in, you automatically are on the team. But... The reality begins when we are actually on the field yeah. and everybody's fighting for their place to go to the World Cup. For example, I don't think a lot of people expected Wendy Shongwe to, to make the team Absolutely. because she, she's young and, you know, everybody else has been there. But some names were left out and she was able to go along with others. And it, it came as a shock. So those things happen and I'm not exempt to that. When you come back from the break, I want to pick up on that because I had to squeeze in that follow-up question about your doubt and doubting if you'd make it. But I want to come back when you say recovery. And I know that your recovery has a lot to do with what we even spoke about yesterday on the show about mental health, mental wellness. You had to take time off completely from the beautiful game, the game that you love. But I want you to give me permission to do one thing when we come back from the break. Would you allow me to look as cool as... Can I wear sunglasses as well? <laughs> of course you can. Thank you. Hashtag MSW live now. on 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM and Soweto Live at the same time. Hashtag MSW. Dumelang, South Africa. I am Dr. Doctor. And I have a pressing message for you. If you are a forex trader, but all you are invested in is hot wings. And if they tell you to count your blessings and you start counting the hot wings in the box. If they tell you to go big or go home and you go home to eat your hot wings. And if the only thing you bring to the table is a box of hot wings, then avoid TikTok doctors. Rather come to me. Doctor, doctor, call me on 087-537-6040. Anytime, anywhere, even now, to help you cure the craving. Let us make South Africa a craving-free nation. Chicken licking, soul food. Terms and conditions apply. Doctor, doctor is not a registered member of the health board and is not an alumni of any prestigious institution. Results are not guaranteed. Take a vacation with Lotto Star's Summer of Millions giveaway. From 1 December till 31 January, you could win a share of 100,000 Rand in cash daily. Bet 100 Rand or more every day to get your hands on a golden ticket. Our Furry Pal Lotto will draw out five winning golden tickets every day at 12 p.m. sharp. Visit lottostar.co.za and make 
this your summer of millions. Lot of stars licensed by the Impomalanga Economic Regulator. No under 18s. National Responsible Gambling Program. 0800 006 008. T's and C's apply. All games are fixed on betting events. Who wants to hear some T's and C's? I don't. But yeah, there are anyway. Pineapple FSP 48650 is underwritten by Old Mutual Insurer, licensed FSP and non-life insurer. T's and C's apply. I mean, really, what a waste of time. Yes, this is another version of the ridiculously short 30-second pineapple ad. Go to pineapple.co.za for 100% insurance, 0% other stuff. Where once again, thanks to the verbose mandatory T's and C's I just mentioned, we're not going to find out more about... From 7 to 24 December, we'll see you at Santon City for a festive season filled with your iconic favourites. From snapshots with Santa to Disney's magical hot air balloon, gorgeous gifting and wrapping, Santon City is bringing the magic of the festive season to life for the whole family. Visit santoncity.com for more details. Happy holidays. Santon City is the city of icons. Is this the soundtrack to your cat's health? Put the bounce back into their lives with the new Feline Cuisine Specialized Diet Range. It's boosted with ingredients to help them with joint health, weight management, or hairball control. With this range, you can ensure your cat is perfectly healthy and happy. Put your cat on a Feline Cuisine Specialized Diet today because smart pets deserve smart food. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Dr. Gokecho. Sabe, Banyana Banyana team psychologist. Doc, we saw it Burnley. Lyle Foster talks about it. Scoring all the goals. Outside of that, the club was very quick to shut shop. Provide him with the kind of assistance that he needs. We don't have those structures. I mean, how dangerous is it for that to continue for as long as it has been allowed to carry on? And what can we do? Mm, very dangerous, Rob. Yeah. So uh, the dangers of it is that we'll, we'll, we'll always find ourselves having to lose potential talented players mm. because they did not receive necessary support at the beginning. I want you to be alive. I want you to be alive. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Yeah, superstar in studio, Banyana, Banyana Defender. I look at her as a Banyana, Banyana all-rounder. I don't think I can put a position. She can blame you. I don't even know if she can be a goalkeeper, can you? Yeah, absolutely, if needs be. Okay. <laughs> when was the last time you kept goals? I don't know, probably when I was around 12. Okay, so let's leave goalkeeping out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's leave it out, let's leave it out. <laughs> you talked about that break. So the break was about the many travels that you've had. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we are live on the YouTube stream. If you want to pick up the conversation and comment there and also see how fly she looks. And she's allowed me to be almost on the same level, but I could never be, mm -mm -mm. never be, never be. I'm in the back seat right now. <laughs> so that break, what was it about the football journey, the travels? Sometimes... The articles that are written about the team, maybe written about you, that said to you, you know what, let me, let me stop this, let me take a break. What was it in particular? The break was more to, to focus on myself internally. Yeah. A lot of the times you just go, 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 go as a soccer player because you're just chasing the next thing, yeah. the, your next goal your next mission, uh, the next goal that you want to accomplish. So I felt that I was spent, depleted. Um, I wouldn't say empty, but almost like a shell. I, I needed something else. I don't know what it was, but yeah. I needed something else. And it couldn't be on the field because soccer stopped being something that brought me joy it started being something that would make me sit in my room and wonder if I should be doing this. When I saw myself get to that point, I knew I had to do something different. But what in particular? Um, forgive me if I'm going to sound like a, a lawyer, a judge trying to extract something, or even a dentist, tooth extraction, whatever it is. Forgive me, because this is important for all of us. Because yeah. you are at a high footballing-wise, 
you are at your best footballing wise. We are acknowledging that as supporters of the national team and supporters of individuals within the national team. So this game that I remember when you had tuck sport during your high school days, before you upgraded and went to the US, you loved with all your heart. So what in particular are you finding to be stressful enough for you to say, I want out for a little while or for however long? I love that question because it, 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 it puts me back into that space mm -hmm. that I actually don't want to go to. Um, and author by Jan Van Zandt says, the places that you don't want to go to, that's where your healing is. Yeah. And that place was so uncomfortable for me. And to answer your question, um, mental health uh, affects us in different ways. And for me at that time to say no mm. was first my experience in Spain when I left the country. And <clears throat> while I'm in Spain, I would occasionally be called up into the national team and the stressors mm. of, first of all, you know, being told that, you know, you, you need to start the game. You know, you, you're not starting the game in your team. So what does that tell me? Um, you know, and then you go from that to the players themselves in Spain treating you like an outsider, as, as I am, of course. Sure. But you, there's a difference between being an outsider and being treated like one. Explain that. I want to come back to your, your, your pattern of thought there. Being treated like an outsider by, I would imagine, what, your teammates? Yes, yes, sir. And they're supposed to be there for you because it's, it's multi-cultured. There are players coming from all over the place. Is that at these Cesarano, Fermenino? I don't even know how to pronounce, but I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. So was it, was it that? Was, was it about your, I would say, your own treating you as if you're not part of the team? Yes, sir. Why, though? That's a good question. I have no idea. Did you ever interrogate them? No. How did you deal with it? Then? First of all, language barrier. I didn't know Spanish at all when I went there. Yeah. And you get there. And let's not forget that uh, before I went there, the team had already gelled because I had problems with papers, documentation. It's extremely difficult to get into Spain, I must say, at least as a professional footballer. And so those documents took longer for them to process. But by the time they processed and everything was okay, I arrived in the team and everybody had gelled. Now you come in as, as a foreigner and you come in, then everybody's like, who's this? We thought we are complete for the season. What, what does this one want? And now when the coach starts including you in the team and the, you know, taking free kicks, you know, it's minor things, but... They are so grand that I remember they, the, the main reason why I left my first team, Casareño Femenino, yeah. was because the entire team, the girls, they just conspired that they couldn't play with me. And I wasn't uh, fitting in their team and their system. And the coach said, you know, I've decided that I'm just going to let you go because the girls feel like this. And I was told that today, and I had to leave two days after. And I didn't know where I was going. I took a bus to an unknown city. Um, when I got there, I had to wait for people that I didn't even know as well. It was a mess. That sounds like you, you were being frog marched. You were being chased away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I mean, it's one thing to be dropped, yes. Bide your time on the bench. Yeah. Bide your time in the grandstand, like all players do around the world. But to be given a certain period of time to be like, get out of here. It's yeah. unheard of. Yeah, you need to leave. Basically, that's what they said. You have two days to, to pack up your stuff and go. I said, can't I do something? You know, is there any way I can yeah. convince the coach? What does he need me to do better? And in the midst of that, there's, there's the national team side right let's not forget that absolutely but 
we'll get to Banyana in a yeah. second in, in, in conjunction with that. Just tying up that story. So who is the person who is instructing you to leave? Because it doesn't sound like it is the coach. Yes. So what happens with these professional teams, the coach or the management yeah. communicates with your agent. And then now your agent takes the information to you. So I got my information from my agent saying, I'm sorry, but you have to leave in two days and you can't do anything about it to change their mind. But the contract, which I would imagine you had, Nomvula, mm -mm. is a legal document. It's a binding document. And it's a document that talks about you as a football player and the deliverables must be on the field of play. So aren't they then breaching the terms of that particular contract if they're finding outside reasons and outside excuses to exclude you? Very good question, because I think if there was anything that they were doing that was out of order or, you know, not in the contract, my agent was supposed to be on top of that and yeah. advise me properly. Because as a player, you read, you know, the contract, but there are some things that you just, at least for me, I hand over to my agent that, can you please take care of this part? I don't understand this. Or what do they mean when they say this? So I, I took his word when he said, you've got two days and you have to leave. I didn't question whether, you know, is this even allowed to but just did say... did he even question? Because there, there are grounds for breach of contract. You can go back to the clauses and say, cite a clause in this contract that says the player's weight of opinion will count towards the coach. Then the coach shouldn't be the coach. Then the coach should be the one catching a coach to also get out of there and oh, find yeah. a place. Yeah. So th there are many grounds. I mean, you could go back and sue them for that breach of contract. I agree, but nothing was done. Nothing was done. I only had to leave in two days. And I took a bus and there I was to a new team. A bus to nowhere. Yeah. In short. You were talking about the link, and I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm sorry because you did not deserve it. When you then link up all of that... <laughs> to what is going on within Banyana Banyana, the national team. Are you being called up? Are you being excluded because you're not included in the team? Is your overall talent alone not counting towards your call-ups? I was being called up. I was being included. And even before I left the country, I left because I felt I was outgrowing my old team. And... Women's football is evolving every single year, you know. So you see the, the people leveling up and things are changing, things are shifting. So I felt I needed to shift as well. Yeah. And upon shifting, I thought, you know, in doing this, you know, my problems would be less. And less pressure on you need to leave the country and play abroad in order to, you know, be a better player to make it yeah <laughs> but as i do that I, I face other obstacles even in the setup as well of oh you're not starting why are you not starting i'm in a foreign country i just arrived and i, I arrived late okay now you start okay but why are you not finishing the game why are you not why are you on the bench why are they taking you off i have never finished a game in spain 90 minutes ever it didn't matter where I, whether I played good or bad. so. But did you understand the rationale? No, Why are you not finishing games? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Those things create frustration in yeah. a player. You don't understand. Even if you ask questions, I ended up not believing anything that they say because it didn't matter to me anyway. Because I ended up analyzing my own performances. Say, okay, today I really played really bad. You know, it wasn't good enough. <laughs> Another game, I'm like, okay, today I think was better, but I still got substituted or mm. I only got 10 minutes or at training, you probably performing the best, but it does not change anything. Do they give you access to analytics? Do they give you access to your statistics as yes. a club? Yes, yes, they did. And your statistics and analytics were pointing towards what? Good performances, right? Absolutely, absolutely, yes, sir. But the treatment 
playing time, yeah. it didn't resonate. It, they didn't resemble each other. So for me, that was a huge struggle to try and understand. And when you seek reasoning, and reasoning sometimes, you can have many interpretations of what reasoning is. Did you start to doubt your own worth? Did you start to doubt whether or not it's even worth it? I did. I did, and it was one of the things that pushed me into that space where I, I saw nothing. Not, not, nothing made sense for me anymore because you work hard time and time and again because football is all about proving, right? Yeah. You know, trying to show the coach, here's what I can offer. Oh, that's not good enough. I'm not happy with this, with that. Okay, can I improve this? Then you go and work on it. But you can't do one thing all the time and still get the same response from a coach. So that's going to come back to you as, oh, I, I guess I'm not good enough. Or I guess what I'm doing is just not going to ever make this person happy. So you are faced with a dilemma. As an escape, was Banyana providing that for you? No. You say a no very, very, very softly. And you say no because you may be scared to upset yes, sir. somebody or some people. Or, is that why? Yes. But it's a national team. I know, but... I didn't have a safe haven. Let's just say that. But why were you, your national team, then why do they call you up if you're not going to have a safe haven there either? I don't know. Um, I guess you, you are good enough to be called up. You're playing abroad, right? But it's not safe where I can say I'm home, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see other players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My teammates, I love them to death. But the... The, the amount of pressure, the, the constant you've got to keep doing this and that. It's, I can only, it, it only reminds me of Robin Moodley, honestly. She, I think she's the bravest amongst us all. Um, For a decision to retire. She, she took a break. She said she's stepping away. For me... We heard <coughs> retirement. The word retirement came through. I don't know what... Uh, when I read her statement, she's just stepping away. Mm -hmm. So maybe I have to call her and <laughs> and and find out what. In thirty what seconds, why do you, why do you say she's brave? Before we take our next break, why do you say she's brave? Because she's not alone. There's many of us, but she took the stand to make it public. While we just sit and get along with it. but this can't be. And a normal thing. This can't be an everyday thing. We, we remember, we sat here, we filled up this whole entire space during the World Cup, excited because you had to make it through to the next round of the World Cup. Mm. The entire country, right? Mm -hmm. The weird hours of Australia and New Zealand didn't matter. We were there watching. Yeah. So as much as you suffered when you played in that messed up pitch, which I'm glad you did not play in and you took a stance and you were fighting issues of bonuses, the nation was with you as a collective. Mm. When you come back from the break, let's pick up on that. I mean, it's devastating. That you have to choose getting away from the game to try and find yourself. But you were, uh, yeah. Hashtag MSW live now. on 947 Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live at the same time. Hashtag MSW. Hi, this is the General, Diego Murise, and I'm bringing you an exhilarating display of skill. With Hollywood Bets Football X, my new game, Hear the Crowd Roar. Each time I kick up and cash out before the ball drops to claim your victory with a max payout of up to 5 million rand. Play online now.
Hollywood Sportsbook is a licensed betting operator. Hollywood Bet supports responsible gambling. No persons under the age of 18 years are permitted to gamble. Winners know when to stop. South African Responsible Gambling Foundation toll-free counseling line 0800 006 008 or WhatsApp help to 076-675-0710. Oh, give a coming, give a coming, give a coming, hey. hey. Give a coming this festive season and make somebody's day. Woo. Sports and leisure gear with the finest tech you see. see. Fitness is the luck and Garmin is the key. Outdoor recreation with golf and run and swim. Woo. Explore and do these awesome things with Garmin, you will win. No, oh, give a Garmin, give a Garmin, give a Garmin, hey. hey. Give a Garmin this festive season and make somebody's day. Shop Garmin.com today. T's and C's apply. Medical aid changes. They're normally like this. We've just had a little goal, and I want to add it to my policy. Going to have to ask her some security questions. It's company policy. What is your mother's maiden name? <laughs> At Bonitas, we make our policies flexible, so you can add members easily as your life changes. Get a quote today. When you need us, Bonitas. Medical aid for South Africa. At Mr. D, the D's for done. Done even when the lights go out and you aren't done cooking. We'll get dinner done, groceries done, treats done, and pet food for you. <coughs> done. When things look like they may be undone, we'll be the ding dong to fix things that have gone wrong. There's no queuing without done. You're always number one. Get it fast and hot at your 9 to 5 or your 6 to 10. Whenever done, done. For restaurants, groceries, and everything in between, download the Mr. D app. The D is for done. Zansi, it's summer and it's time for that festive feeling, so you better give me some of that short lived. Pack your bags, gather the family, and take a much needed road trip to your favorite getaway destination. Relax and play miniature golf with the kids, slip and slide at the water park, or go camping in the wild with affordable deals for you and your family. Book now. Visit shortlift.co.za. After all, it's your country. Enjoy it, because nothing's more fun than a short lift. Hashtag TravelWise Mzansi. T's and C's apply. Success looks different for all of us. What we do have in common is our eagerness for a brighter tomorrow. A tomorrow where a parent's hope becomes a child's reality. A tomorrow where success is not just owning a degree, it's owning the pathway to the rest of your life. Own tomorrow with Richfield. Study an undergraduate or postgraduate degree online on campus at Bryanston, Newtown, Centurion or Pretoria. Apply today at richfield.ac.za. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Dr. Kokecho, Tsebe, Banyana Banyana team psychologist, Doc. The question basically is that how did she keep a Kaelin Swartha um, positive and smiling besides all the criticism that she was getting back home. Players are the ones that um, speak about their experiences of psychology because as me as a practitioner, the line of work behind us confidentially. Yes. No, absolutely. I think we've spoken to both Mamil Damin and Il. Yeah. We've spoken to Caleb. Is that these are two very mentally tough ladies. Mm, That's mm. what I discovered, mm. is that they know the rigors of just playing football as women, mm. but then the criticism was elevated when it came to the World Cup. I feel like I'm out of my mind. Feel like my life ain't mine. Who can relate? Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Yeah. Evening, Barob, and evening to Novola Haole. Um, Barob, um, as I'm listening to the interview, it's actually sad to hear that um, one of our best players was cheated badly when she was out in Spain. And it got me thinking, Barob, that during the week you hosted a lady in Gabriela Nima who's on the rise and wants to make it in Europe, but there are such things like um, being excluded or being treated like an outsider in a team. So my question basically to Enumvula Khaula, how would she motivate a player like uh, Gabriela who's on the rise, who's young and doesn't know a lot about uh, life in Europe? How would you, how would she uh, maybe uh, motivate uh, Gabriela and tell her about the things to look out for in Europe? Thank you, Paro. Thank you so much. Uh, do send us your WhatsApp voice notes 060-708-0484 060-708-0484 Live on the YouTube channel, live on the Vuma FM, Rise FM, so it's and live 947 wherever you are around the country, the continent or the world. It's an honest conversation that we're having here tonight. The lipstick lady, commercial entity herself, whether by default or by design, I don't know, but it is here. It is facing us, but it's also very, very sad, uh, the stories that are coming through. And, and, and maybe, 
Maybe. I'll share a thought with you in a second. Uh, Chicago on Twitter says it takes a lot of character for an individual to go through such a depressive stage, but yet still present themselves as bubbly uh, during such a period. I'm in awe of Nomvula and how she's negotiated her own through it. And we thank you for gracing our forum and be vulnerable to us. We are learning. Um, those two voice notes. I mean, a voice note as well as a tweet, as we still call it. We'll stop calling it a tweet at the end of the year. <laughs> we'll call it X. Um, what does it say to you? Because being vulnerable takes guts, and you've shown exactly that today. Yes, I feel it's necessary for people to be vulnerable. Um, uh, it doesn't help anybody to be hardcore all the time. We are human beings. Yes. We have feelings. Just because I play soccer doesn't mean I, ha I don't feel anything or I don't um, absorb anything that the coaches are saying to me or my player. I mean, the players. So vulnerability is bravery, yeah. uh, according to Brene Brown. So I find vulnerability necessary, um, if anything, because it's also just showing about... Um, you know, just showing how real and things can be in life. Yeah. Because it's not just about all the glamour and the limelight. We also experience things as people that normal people do. And people need to understand that. Youngsters like Gabriela. Gabriela was in studio the other day. She has wild ambitions and she's talented. She would love to go overseas. There's uh, an opportunity for her to join Bournemouth next year. She's probably listening to the show right now. And as somebody who has not only played locally, but has gone, as I said, to Spain, to the U.S., what did you say to somebody that young, that gifted, that talented, and wants to make a name for herself overseas? Follow your dreams. Whichever way they take you. Whichever way they take you. Because what I spoke about right now is only the, the rough patches yes. in my journey. At least my football journey. But I've had an incredible time in the United States playing collegiate soccer. Um, <clears throat> I, I even lost count of the amount of accolades I received. I'm almost, um, what do they call this? almost like the, the face of my school right now yes. in the U.S. because of how much they loved me, appreciated me, and loved the kind of soccer player I was and a human being as well. So overall, in the United States, I had a really good time studying as well. But it, it's when I went into the professional arena in yeah. professionalizing my career that things just went into another gear that but I didn't that understand. that is the most ridiculous thing. Here we are fighting for the <laughs> professionalization of the game in South Africa, um, fighting for it to reach the standard of what's happening overseas. Yeah. And that is where you meet your low points. Allow me to speak on your behalf without your permission. Because I want to go back to people that respected you. <laughs> yeah. I want to go back to people that said, here's a talented person. I want to go back to the USA. Player of the year, Louisiana Tech University for two consecutive years, 2016, 2017. Mm -hmm. Female player of the year in all sports, mm -hmm. 2018, Louisiana Tech University voted among only 11 players considered as players of the decade mm -hmm. at Louisiana Tech University 2019. Mm. That for me says respect. Never ever worry about what's in that passport of yours. The only passport that we want to see is on the field. How does that make you feel? I saw a smile for the first time in this chat <laughs> tonight when I mentioned that. How does that still make you feel? Uh, the United States as a country is so, so close to my heart 
that even a couple of months ago when we went back there to play against the U.S., yeah. I was so emotional. I, w- I, I think I cried for two days, the first two days that we were there yeah. because of how connected I am to just the country itself. And my career there is just a cherry on top. Wow. So I just, I just, I feel overwhelmed when I think about what I've done in the U.S. And still to this day, I have been going to a church also in the United States. When, we, when yeah. they heard we're coming to play, they sent a photographer to come and take pictures of me oh, wow. <laughs> along with my American mother. They came. My best friends that I saw eight to ten years ago, they were all there. They all came. So that that's just a very special place in my heart. Lessons would have been learned aplenty. And I'm looking at time and I'm trying to get to these juicy points. I hate traffic in, in Joburg. Um, was it, it's, it's messing up a lot of good things. Um, bachelor degree, geographical mm. information science. Yeah. What, 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 what is that? That is more like just taking what we see physically yeah. on the computer, planning first and then executing the plan physically. So because you cannot build a building without planning, you know, it first. And it's got a lot to do with coding yes. as well, which is fashionable of late because of the amount of potential it has. Um, but that's essentially what, what that is. But here in the, in the country, I saw that they call it town planning yes. as well. Yeah. Yes. So. <laughs> got to have that foundation. Mm-hmm. And it's got to be solid. Absolutely. What do you picture yourself the day you make that dreadful announcement that you'll retire from football altogether? Have you thought of life post football, life post retirement? Yes, sir. hundred percent. Full me in. There, there is a lady by the name of Josina Telly. They know her as Granny. Uh, those who've yes. been at the High Performance Centre know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> that woman yeah. has been so, so important in humbling me, particularly. I'm not going to talk for others because I don't know the kind of impact she had um, for them in their soccer career. But every single time when we would receive call-ups when we were at the High Performance Centre, we would all be excited and gathered and clap for everybody and then go to camp. But as soon as we return, she says, well, we'll come back to earth. Wow. And each time that happened and she did it, she, she sparked a reality in me that, oh, this is not going to be forever. Every single time I come back here, it's back to earth. So what does that mean? Do I go to cloud nine and come back every single time? <laughs> so, but at the end of the day, you're going to be here on earth. You're not going to go to cloud nine anymore at some point. So I got that from then. So I've been there, sir. <laughs> Will you further your education? Absolutely. I actually applied for something. I mean, there's no something in the studio. You got It's got to be... <laughs> Something, something, no one to know. What have you applied for? <laughs> I applied for something at UNISA because uh, I don't know if people remember, but UNISA offered Banyana Banyana yes. after we um, won the Continental Cup uh, four years to mm-hmm. study with them. So I'm taking that opportunity to study next year. Have they accepted? They said they will contact me. I'm hoping that they accept me. Jeez. But well, they have to. Yeah, or I mean, you're I'm given go- recognition. Uh, the <laughs> president, Cyril Ramaphosa himself, I think the then minister of sport, Natim Tetra, uh, you know, you got the achievement for excellence in sport, momentum. Uh, you know, you remember that? There were big names there, Bo, Zozi Bini as well were there. Mm-hmm. There was Tusobedu there. There was Doc Kumailo. You in the mix there. So if they said part of the winnings is to go to UNISA, then UNISA, they can't change that. 100%. And if they do, you let us know because a Ministry of Sport stands. It's not individual. So if Anatim Tetu does that, it means that now 
Zizi Goto must continue with that legacy because it is under governmental rule. It's not under an individual who just woke up, felt generous, and said you'll go and study. South African people, I'm so glad that I met Robert Marawa today. My application has been accepted. Thank you. It has been approved. <laughs> hey, we'll go to, you know, you know who's the, who's the judge there? Former President <laughs> Tabo Megi is the man at the helm um, in one way or the other. But I think in all seriousness, when, and, and this is a fun side of it, is that when people watch your craziness, they don't take into consideration what lies within mm. the lipstick lady. Yeah. Because you just become that person that they associate with that viral video, which we all love. Aww. They all associate with microbladedness of eyebrows <laughs> and ruby red <laughs> lipstick. Hey? Oh, yes. There's so much more to you. And I hope you realize that. Wow. I hope you realize that the fights that you fought in Spain are no indication of who you are. Oh, my God. The person who played in Spain for Barcelona is Lionel Messi. Where is he ending his career? In the USA. And they appreciate him. Yeah. They appreciated you in the USA. Mm -hmm. So where he was before, it's because he grew up there. Mm -hmm. La Masia was there. That's where he found his grounding. So don't allow that to shape who you are. I think we've been moved as a country. I mean, people that have been sending messages that are watching on YouTube are just, huh? <laughs> you, you, you've, 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 you've rocked a nation Aww. verbally today. Wow. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to, the, to hear that. <sighs> Let me not cry. Let me not cry and drink some water. <laughs> yes, people. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want the tears, man. We don't want the tears. I mean, you have achieved more than most. You've achieved more than most. You walk away, you're a WAFCON champion. You walk away, Kosafa champion uh, with Banyan. 100%. Yes, there was a stage sir. where you were given awards for being the most disciplined player. Where do you get all this information from? Do you think I just invite you and hope for the best that I will we'll see how the interview goes and ask you where you did your hair? No. <laughs> We don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised about how um, that Robert Marawa is so clued up. So uh, some of the stuff I've even forgot about them, but geez. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a journey and it's still going. So let's see. Let's see how we go about it. What's the first thing you're going to do when you leave the studio? <sighs> Call my best friend who is matoke okay matoke we're gonna give her all the equipment to charge her phone including the wi-fi including everything she's gonna call you after this show lipstick lady i appreciate you i appreciate the person you are and the person you're still gonna be thank you for gracing our studios thank you sir i'm more than delighted Marawa Sports Worldwide on 947, Monday to Friday from 6 to 7 p.m. Hashtag